name is John Chumbly. I'm a project lead. Everybody calls me Chum, so feel free. Um, project lead, working on the bid day project. If you're having trouble seeing the screen, I can't really make it much bigger. So if uh, you're interested in seeing it and having trouble seeing it, if you want to move forward, that'd be cool. So I was asked if I could present this um, today, and I said, sure. So I get, I get an hour, right? And they said, no, you get 10 minutes. So this is going to be a, a pretty high level, um, just kind of a, a quick run through. If you're interested in, in learning more about it and, and seeing where it's going, you can always go to our booth later, talk to somebody, get an in-depth demo scheduled. Um, I'd be more than happy to, to kind of sit down with you and really kind of go through the nuts and bolts of it. A lot of what you've seen, Jacob stole a lot of my thunder. Thanks, Jacob. Um, this, was, this was really developed based off of the spreadsheet that um, you know, we actually currently have with our product. Um, but as, part, as, as we've discussed up here, having that data is kind of the big thing, right? And right now, like we've said, Excel is not data. Excel is a file that's just going to hold the information. So we're looking at how we can take that to the next step. So as you can tell from the get-go, this is a web-based system. Um, I do want to throw this is in development. I am showing you something that is still currently being developed. So not everything is there. It's not all hooked up. It's not 100%, but um, bear with me uh, as we demo on this live system. So what we're looking at now is, is that summary view um, you know, that, that Jacob kind of showed, where you can kind of see everything that's going on in your project. This is our minimal view, and we're going to come back and kind of dig a little more into this. Um, but the big thing is, how do we get our bids out here? So I'm going to jump out. I've got one that's kind of going uh, concrete place and finish. So now we're pulling up our bid package. Now you'll notice we've got line items in here. Bid day is built to be both integrated with Estimator, so you can push your estimates out to bid day to work on them, finish up, pull your information back. It's also built to be standalone. Um, you do not have to use Estimator uh, to use this product. You can create a project from scratch, you can add all your line items in and, and just work from it straight from there. We've got our list of line items, we've got some subs, you'll see we already have some bids coming in. Um, one of the first things to do, you know, we, we've got to make sure everything's leveled, right? So what we want to do is make sure you know what needs to be leveled. So you'll see we've got a little color coding going on over here. These are things we still need to work on. So let's go ahead and level out this, this sub. Um, very much like Jacob was saying, we do uh, carry classifications for all the bids that you're entering. Um, so for example, you know, here, if we came in and this one's going to be $60,000, we can go $60,000 and we're going to designate that that is um, the number that the sub gave us. So we can go through, add these numbers in. You can also come in, let's say this one came in at $12,000. You know, we're, we're looking at anywhere from 16 to, to 18.5. 12,000 seems a little low. We're just going to designate that that's a risky number. This is just for your, you know, when you're going in to kind of find it, you're defining what does that risk really look like. And so you can go, go down through, fill all the information out. You'll notice we highlight things. If we've got some missing scope, um, always something's going to be missing, right? If we go in and we mark the, and we tag that as missing, you'll notice we automatically plug a number. Um, you can plug your own number, um, but we also have tried to kind of speed this process up a little bit. Um, we'll either plug the lowest actual bid number you've got. Without that, we'll actually pull over the cost from your base estimate um, and bring that over as your plug number. So just ways to keep from having to worry about fat fingering um, as you're going through. You'll notice we have our work broken down. Um, this is where we're actually able to come and put in some breakdown structure um, to kind of group the like line items. We do have, I, I know one of the questions was what, are we, what if we get the all-in line item? We do allow for all-in bids. Um, so as you can see, we've got an all-in bid. Um, and then we just go through and make sure that all items within that have been included. As we break down, you notice we get back down, um, Jacob brought this up, about your trade requirements. Um, so for this trade, we always have these requirements that we have to make sure. And these requirements can either uh, contribute to the bid, so maybe these requirements are going to cost you a little something, or maybe they're just a checklist. Yes, this is going to be included. And then we break down into the general requirements. So these are those requirements that have to be done for every job, um, regardless of what trade's going down. And then as we keep going through and putting in the bid, 
we get down, and we have a place so you can add adjustments. We don't like the idea of when you're going in for the sub and maybe you don't like the numbers they've got, so all you're gonna do is go add some additional costs. Um, that makes it real hard for historical costing to go in and say, well, they charge this for concrete, but we added a little bit more because we didn't really like their number. So this allows you to do adjustments at the sub level um, to, to move those around if you, if you feel like you need to either do some deducts or additions. And then we get to the total for our base estimate. Now we've been going through and um, you know, we have been assigning the, uh, the various cost categories. So now you can see how do these costs break down um, by classification. And now you've got that information to look and see, we're not just gonna take the low sub, we're gonna take the best sub the one that's not carrying too much risk that, that we feel safe about. And once you've been able to do your analysis, you can go up and say, you know what, we're gonna go with this sub, you select your sub, boom. After our base estimate, we get down where we're carrying those alternates. So you can have your alternates, your VEs, um, down at the bottom, and as you're going, so they're broken out by trade, and then as you go through, you'll notice some have been included, so we've included this uh, this adjustment, this one's not included, and you'll notice those numbers don't carry down uh, for, the, for the items that are not included. And then you can actually look at it holistically. Hey, once we've, once we've decided what VEs we're gonna use, what alternates we're gonna carry, what does that do for the entire bid package and not just our base estimate? How does that break out? And then once you've got all that, now we go back and we go look at our summary page, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide some of these columns to start out. So we talked about this as our minimal view. Um, this is where you're actually gonna be able to see the breakdown of your packages. What is the selected sub, if any? What's that bid amount? Any of your alternates will be listed. You can add a contingency percentage to that. You get your totals down by your package. And then we have this number of bids, and you'll notice we've got a little stoplight going here you can define and be able to quickly visually tell, do I have enough subs bidding on this package to meet my requirements? You define those requirements uh, of what they look like. You'll notice as well, these are, these are actually set up as entry fields. Um, you know, you're getting down to the last minute. You're trying to get this bid out the door. You know you can't carry that number and, and be able to win the job. You're gonna, you can go in and actually adjust that bid amount right here, last minute, Behind the scenes, what we're doing is we're, create, we're, we're putting that difference in the adjustment. Um, so it's basically like going into the bid package, adjusting that price down, um, but you get, as, a, as an admin, you can come in and do that right away. Then we can start looking at some of these columns as we break them out. So the first one is being able to actually assign a bid package to an individual. Um, it lets you quickly tell who to go talk to. It also allows that individual to be able to lock their bid package while they're working on it. Then we get into the, our cost categories. So this is kind of that rainbow sheet. Um, now not only can you see how much risk am I carrying per bid package, but as you go down, you can see how much am I carrying for the entire project. Then we get into some of the analysis that, that we talked about. So you can break down and look at what is our second bidder analysis and the variances, as well as being able to come back and compare it to the, the base estimate that we have. And then finally, um, any notes that have been added um, for that package, so you're able to add notes all over the system. Um, you can go in and look at those notes. And we will have, and it's not here, but I'm gonna show you because we will, you will also be able to carry your fee table as part of your bid um, to see how do, your, how do your fees actually impact the overall bid. None of that's tied in yet, um, other than pulling them in, but they're not calculating, but just to kind of see um, where that's going. I noticed one of the questions earlier, and you know, it didn't come up, but it was, um, what, what do you do about the, the sub numbers for subs that you don't select? Um, in this case, you know, keeping this information here, we have all of the sub bids, whether you went with that sub or not, they're all in the system, they're all reportable, and you're able to see trends over time. Um, how, how did that same sub bid a month ago, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, today, um, to really kind of start, you know, seeing, seeing where the costs are going. So that's just a real quick overview of uh, kind of where we're going with this product. 
Um, we're looking to, to release this later this year. Um, again, if you would like to see more of it, go to the booth, set up a demo, and uh, I'll be happy to do a real in-depth, which is usually an hour and not 10 minutes. So. <laughs>